What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today I've got my mate and his new project car on the channel and we're going to be discussing what mods to do basically. It's a completely stock car and he only got it about a week ago. So let me introduce you to the owner and then we'll get right into it. See that magic trick? Uh, editing the part. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Mills and he's got a 420 uh, diesel. Yeah. Diesel. Would you want to explain to the viewers why yeah. you went for a diesel? Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people are going to get onto me for having a diesel, but I can explain to you that I make a lot of trips, uh, especially because I go to uni and stuff. It only makes sense. Uh, and plus, because I'm really young, I don't really want to be chucking in a lot of money for petrol. I know that smiles per gallon means more than miles per gallon. I understand that. <laughs> but uh, right now, uh, I'm, too, I'm still young and I've, I'm enjoying this car. Uh, I still love the diesel power. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. But what, it's like your third car, right? It's my third <laughs> car in how many months? Uh, I sit, uh, from August. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we picked up your E46 320D light. In January or something. In January. Yeah. 2021, guys. January 2021. And now we're in... March 2021, so literally less than two I mean, months. Yeah, as in I got it in time for my birthday, so yeah, that was an yeah. exciting moment. So we yeah. are in March, right? Yeah, 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 we are, yeah. yeah. Just, just checking <laughs> yeah, in case I'm bugging. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, Mills picked up his car about a week ago, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, it's completely stock. There's no mods, nothing. The car's super clean. The paint job is amazing. We did a little bit of coding already, yep. but. Um, you know, I wanted to make this video for you guys because the video I made on the top five mods for under 100 quid is doing well. Uh, and if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you go click this banner over here so you can check it out. And um, yeah, I wanted to give you more of an insight into all the mods you can do from completely stock, uh, beginner, something s s quick, simple, easy. And yeah, let's just talk about the car, really. Let's get into it. All right, it's recording. Huh? This better not be in the video be adjusted. <laughs> this is my new 420D. Uh, it's white. Uh, I usually go for black cars. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I like my stuffed out look, but this is something new. And for the summer, I feel like uh, this will really pop in the summer. It's a really, really nice car. Do you know I, what? I, when you told me you were getting a 4 Series, yeah. I thought you were getting a convertible. I can't lie. I, no, I, was I thought you were getting a convertible. Well, <laughs> I mean, this this is a big spec as well. Yeah. We'll go through it, but yeah, I could not uh, miss out on this. It was, it's a very nice spec, as you can see, like 19 inch uh, alloy diamond car. Uh, very nice uh, paint paint quality and everything is spot on. So yeah, just couldn't pass on that. I mean, it was a diesel. I was a bit skeptical, uh, skeptical on that. Yeah. But it had to be done. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, if it means you're saving more money for your next car, then fair I play, mean, right? Yeah. Uh, that's that's always a plus point, isn't it? Saving yeah. money for a potential future performance car <laughs> coming soon. Exactly. So mods wise, what are you planning to do then on this car first? Yeah. So uh, yeah, as you, as you mentioned, it is a completely stock car, which I'm happy about, which means more mods. Yeah. Uh, and it's a white car, so I feel like I'm gonna go with a white and black theme. Okay. So I'm gonna be starting off with the uh, mirror caps. Uh, currently, it's quite it's the boring white mirror caps. Yeah. So as you have on your M235i, the sharp um, curved edged uh, mirror caps the in gloss black. Yeah, the M style, that's yep. what it's called, yeah. And the swooping dynamic indicators, whatever you want to call it. Very Audi-like, but, but you know what, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. I put it on my car as well, so you know what. Uh, yeah, it does look good. So yeah, I'm going to have to install that. Uh, what, what, we, uh, what I'm going to be planning to do next is uh, side skirts as well in gloss black. Yep. Uh, I think it'll give it a really nice road presence, uh, a very lowered look, if yep. that makes sense. Talking about lowered look, look at <laughs> this Yep, cap. it's huge, it is huge, I can't um, lie. Yeah, like honestly, you're going to need some springs. Um, and I possibly spaces as well. 100%, because one thing I could notice is from looking at, from this angle, yep. the wheels are a lot, like way into the arches and I think if you give it a wider look like yeah this, yeah it will look so much better you would think that with 19 inch wheels it would fill the gap but to, nah. to be fair it's a very big car yeah compared to my two series um i think the 
you know, the four, like obviously the four series is much bigger. Like, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to say is when you put 19s on the two series, it fills up more. Of the yeah, market, definitely. Right? Yeah. So if anything, go 20s. Yeah. Or um, just go for like. Like I said, uh, springs, springs and spaces, yeah. and I think that would make the fitment. I'll actually try to do springs myself. Oh, so <laughs> we could do it together. <laughs> yeah, uh, make sure you like the video okay. if you want to see that. Yeah, coming on. soon, isn't it? Yeah. So, as I said, this is a project car, right? So we're going to be doing like the mods ourselves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This video is just talking about what are the potentials we can do, yep. uh, what he's got in mind. Yep. Yeah, we'll move on to the rear of the car. Now we're looking at the rear of the car. Again, it's very OEM stock. What are you planning to do with it? So yeah, as you said, it's, it's very stock and um, it looks quite plain, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to the front end, uh, the, the rear end looks a bit tame, not as, not as aggressive as the front end. 100%. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm planning to, I've, I've actually ordered a spoiler. Okay. And uh, it's the M4 style. Um, uh, it's a, an aggressive one. So you've got two styles. Right. One is like an OEM plus um, curved look. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's more subtle, but I feel like, uh, especially with the other mods, like the mirror caps being so aggressive, yeah. uh, I think the aggressive, yeah, very, nice very nicely. nicely yeah. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. What about the lights? I know for a fact that quite a lot of like darker coloured cars, they tend to either go quite dark or do a bit of smoking. Yeah. Are you planning to smoke it? Or? So. Um, to be honest, I'm not too sure yet, but if I was to smoke it out, I would yeah. definitely go a light smoke. I don't want to go too dark, yeah. uh, especially on a white car. I feel like it does look weird sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the one thing that does get to me is the fact that this is a pre-LCI lights. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, possibly in the future, I could change it out for the LCI ones. Yeah. But to the be fair, yeah. With the LCI retrofitting on these cars, are these cars come with a it's a two part light. Yeah, yeah. Whereas mine is one single yeah, part. Yeah, exactly. Just had yeah. a quick connector change. Yeah, yeah, things. yeah. Um, but no, it's definitely doable and it'll make the car look so yeah, much better. Yeah. But again, like you said though, performance car comes soon, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, when insurance decides to bless me nicely, <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, we'll go for that. But at the moment. I'm really happy with this. Uh, it's quite dirty, but yeah. yeah. So, the spoiler. Spoiler. Um, Diffuser, I assume. So, yeah, right now it's got like the measly <laughs> single exhaust coming yeah. out. It's not uh, as a, it doesn't look appealing at all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm planning to do for a dual exhaust conversion. It's not going to make much of a difference for the sound, oh, no. but. Uh, looks wise it will definitely make it look more aggressive with the uh, diffuser as well yeah. so i'm gonna be going gloss black with the whole car okay so yeah gloss black diffuser with the dual out uh, outlet system okay uh it will add a nice touch to the rear end and make it more aggressive compared to That's now yeah yeah nice front end of the car now yep there's a lot of chrome going on here yeah <laughs> definitely yeah but I mean, I do, I do mention this on every single one of my videos. I hate chrome wheels, so <laughs> hopefully you're changing that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, it's it's got to be done when yeah. everything else is going gloss black. Yeah. It's only right to get the gloss black kidney grills, and yeah, that's exactly you what gonna I'm going to go with the double slants, or are you going to keep it? Uh, definitely double, because I want to, because uh, everything else is aggressive, and I feel like um, the double definitely makes the front more aggressive as well compared to the singles. Uh, yeah, but t to be fair with you, on a white car, chrome does not look too bad. No, it has that luxury it look. Yeah. It does, but, but I'm... Again, these cars aren't for luxury. Not for luxury, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so yeah, that's for the uh, grills. And inside, the V-brakes. Uh, you wrapped it in red. Yeah, reflective. reflective red, yeah. So I'm planning to do mine blue, actually. Because the inside of my car, I've got a few um, blue trim pieces. Um, around it and with the badge being yeah. blue as well so I think it will give a nice accent to it talking about yeah uh, one thing we forgot to mention is those calipers oh yeah remember you said you were gonna say uh, I think you mentioned that you were gonna do them in blue again to match yeah 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 thing, right? so I think yeah it will tie definitely tie yeah especially but there's one thing that I just really I don't really like about this like just one thing is the brake calipers being so small for a big wheel for a big car the brake calipers are this big. <laughs> it's really annoying. I have a solution to that. Yep. So one of my mates, he's got an E46. You might know him, Siv. Yep. Um, 
again we did another video oh that crazy car, car yeah <laughs> go Shane check that out as well the link will be somewhere around here yeah um, and he's basically getting some brembo brakes on yeah yeah um, i think brembo are like part of porsche or something but there's some massive brakes yeah 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 um they look amazing and i think with a car like this because it's quite big it's got big wheels yep uh, a brembo kit will be nice i think you can pick them up for around 500 quid definitely again not too sure but like I said, this is a video to discuss what mods you can do. Yep. Um, and we're not doing all of this at once because obviously it'll get boring. Um, but yeah, we're just talking through what else we can do, really. The car at the front is already aggressive as it looks, as you can see. But uh, front splitter definitely, definitely makes any car look 10 a hundred times better sure. so, so yeah i'm gonna be going with a gloss black front splitter like an m performance style uh so yeah like it it'll make this part black and yeah it will just make it look nicer and yeah with going with that white and black theme as i said before uh that should be most of the mods for now and then after that it'll be interior mods like yours yeah hopefully carbon a uh, carbon interior who oh, knows the in the future in the future who knows <laughs> but yeah uh stuff. that's so, one thing we haven't touched on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like apple, apple car carplay play. yeah so we'll you know that kind of stuff obviously it depends on the car depends on the owner but we just wanted to give you a bit of an insight into some of the exterior stuff you could do on any car so again spoiler splitter you could pretty much do it on any car whether it be a volkswagen whether it be a bloody citroen <laughs> uh i don't i haven't seen many modified citroens but i'm pretty sure you can find a splitter out there somewhere but yeah guys anything else to add uh nah not really uh all i can say is just stay tuned because we have a lot of mods coming for this yeah and videos are going to be coming out regularly i'm i reckon hopefully hopefully uh, uh so yeah just stay tuned guys and yeah thanks for having me Yach. obviously come on <laughs> thanks for introducing my new car as well i'm excited to be on the channel yeah yeah come on um we'll be thinking about doing a map one day right yeah yeah, so yeah, yeah definitely we'll record that for you guys as well but yeah like i said guys this is going to be like a second part to the channel to add a bit of variety um yeah well that's it for me and yep yeah, that's it for me <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you share and go check out his links on Instagram and I'll go show him some support. Instagram down here. He's got a car channel as well. Um, I, I, I mean, I haven't yet, but I well, should. I, w I should be starting. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got his old E46 on there. Yeah. We're gonna start. Up, it right would now. be updated, yeah. But yeah, guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're already on 600 subs and we're on our way to the big one. 1K, 1K. Let's go. So I'll catch you guys soon.